Hi everyone, welcome to Anacademy Neat English. I am your biology educator Nambika Sharma and I hope you all are keeping well. I know bache, now it is just one day for your most awaited day. I can understand all that mixed emotions, the sense of anxiety, excitement, you want to see your paper, you want to, uh, you want to be free from all the tensions plus you are nervous also. Some students, I know, I know some students were still thinking ki, why, 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 why that day is so close. But yeah, it is the reality, right? Tomorrow you guys are going to have your paper and uh, even our journey with you people it was amazing right that marathons that question practice everything was there but now now no doubt we have worked hard right teachers students we all we have worked hard but now it is our most awaited day and yes you have to give your best on that day as well right you are the biology students you know one thing very well you know one thing very well that a cell is going to spend 95 percent more than 95 percent of its lifespan in interface and that half an hour is for division right in the case of humans of course right and here the cell has to give its best right that is the most important phase you know it very well so the uh, exam day right that time period from 2 p.m to 5 20 p.m is one of the it is something very important for all of you and we have to give our best right sometimes some students they came out of the examination hall and they say that oh i have prepared well but i was not able to attempt the paper on time right i got anxious i did this i did that and when you came out of the examination hall right when you solve that paper again na, you feel like that yard why why i made that mistakes in the examination hall and why am i able to solve the question now because now you are not under the pressure so this video is very important for you because i will tell you that what are the things that you need to avoid what are the silly mistakes that you need to avoid how to attempt the paper and what are the things that you people need to take care so make sure you watch this video till the end so you no doubt no doubt bache the preparation is important but that exam day is very important if you will keep yourself calm then definitely you are going to give your best and that's what we have to do even if you have studied if you even if you have studied less even if you think that you didn't revise completely it's okay it's fine your 80 percent syllabus your 80 percent paper is going to come from that 20 percent most important syllabus and you have done it i know it very well so guys look at this side this is what you have to do right so you are watching this video on 4th of my on 4th of my so i will suggest you the one and the most important things that that please do not think to give the mock test today it's a humble request right do not think that you should give the mock test today no need to analyze anything no need to do anything and even there is no need to practice the questions as well keep yourself calm at this point of time i know it's very easy for me to say such things i know it is very difficult for you to do these things but yes it is something that we have to do i know that since of anxiety right we feel like oh, oh my god we can miss something we should revise everything no no it's okay it's fine you know a lot trust me you know a lot okay keep it in your mind now no need to give the mock test don't need to start anything new if you if your friend is saying and no need to talk to anyone who who's demotivating you right the one uh, that is encouraging you yes you can talk to them do not talk about the exam do not talk about the result do not just procrastinate keep yourself calm and just pray to the god that i want to give my best tomorrow please help me in that that's all that's it this is what we have to do right so do not talk to uh, to the people that demotivates you right ignore all the negativity all the negativity right bache right so do not start anything new if your friend is saying this is something very important you should do it no no need no need no need to watch the details lecture now no need to do anything now right keep yourself calm okay so uh, on 4th of May, please keep your admit card ready, right? The NTA has issued the admit card, download it, take the print out of all the three, uh, take the print out of all the three pages, right? Put your photograph there, put your left hand thumb impression there, put your postcard photo there, right? And please do not sign wherever it is uh, mentioned that you have to sign in the presence of invigilator. Don't sign in that column, otherwise sign it, right? Keep your voter ID ready, okay? Keep your ID proof ready, your admit card ready, everything should be there with you. No need to carry the pen to the examination center because your uh, you will get it there okay students so fill your admit card before right you can carry a pen to the examination center but yeah before entering the examination center hand it to, to your parents okay so keep this with you okay and make sure you put it in such a uh, you know in a folder or something that you don't get uh, you should keep it 
in a good condition right so you should have your id proof and you have to carry the original id proof so you please keep that things ready check your clothes again right it should not violate that uh, dress code rule you can check my video on that as well right then yes you can just keep one handout where your you know formulas right whatever you want to revise before the exam wherever you were making the mistake you just want to revise that keep focus on that only right on 4th of may this is what you have to do and guys today please take care of your sleep cycle i know it's very easy for me to say that i know it's very difficult for students to sleep on time but yes this is something that you have to do because you you just have to give your best performance on the 5th of may right right whatever you have done whatever mistakes you have made even if you have wasted the time no need to think about anything because you are going to give your best on 5th of may right right and this is what you have to manifest today okay that i am going to give my best tomorrow i am going to give my best tomorrow that is something that should be in your mind keep it in your mind right bache so on 5th may chillax very difficult but chillax get up early in the morning take the proper bath and eat properly i know sometimes we are anxious and we don't want to eat but please 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 eat something and try to eat something light if you are not feeling well even if you are feeling that i am having fever or something please take the medicine in advance right precautionary okay girls if you guys are having periods please if you are expecting your periods even after 2 to 3 days even if you are expecting your periods please use the pad please carry the extra sanitary napkin to the exam nation center if you can if you are experiencing the you know muscular spasm or something please carry meftal spas with you right bachche you can take it as well if you are going to take the water bottle right that should be that water should bottle should be clear it should not be colored or fancy okay now when it comes to reaching the examination center this is the question that i got from one of my student okay so of course you should reach there at least by 1230 pm right no doubt the see you are not going to get entry after 130 pm and if you will delay that thing obviously you will have that pressure and anxiety so this is my advice please please you, if your examination center is far travel today that is on 4th of may right on 5th of may reach there reach there you know in a fresh state okay and please you should not delay you should not delay it right bache so reach there at least at 12:30 pm and after 1:30 pm you will not get the entry so make sure you reach there before 12:30 or at 12:30 that will be a kind of safe time for you because frisking and everything will be there okay bache so if you are going if you are uh, traveling alone and if you have mobile phones and something yes you can give it to the examination center but they will not take the responsibility okay so if you are traveling with your friends hand over uh, with your family or friends hand over everything to them right do not wear rings the necklace the girls do not go for anything any ornament not even the boys right take care of this thing now please have the light meal even before entering to the examination center light means that should not be like don't eat samosa parathe or something like that right have eat something light if you are thinking that i will eat after the exam no 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 sometimes you know right we feel low otherwise so please have something and eat something light eat something refreshing otherwise in the examination center you might feel sleepy okay and yes right it is very clearly mentioned in your uh, admit card about the bio breaks you are not going to get any bio break in the first one hour of your exam and in the last one hour in middle you will get the bio break okay so i will advise before entering to the before entering there in the examination center please go to the washroom if it is required keep yourself calm right and trust yourself you are going to give your best on 5th of may and this is what i want in the comment section that yes i am going to give my best on 5th of may right bachche so this is what you need to take care now imagine you are in the examination center i know i know i know it is anxious but uh, it can give you the anxiety but it's fine just imagine you yourself in the examination center obviously you have to keep calm sit on the table relax there your invigilator will tell you about your sitting plans go sit there just relax keep calm breathe in breathe out whenever you feel anxiety in the exam center do not get panic do not just just keep yourself mind keep your mind calm you have to close your eyes right you can start counting the counting it in reverse order like 10 9 8 7 like this or you can take deep you can take the deep breath breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out that is something very amazing for you even if i feel you have made some mistake it's fine breathe in breathe out we have the solution of every problem this is what you need to keep in your mind your state of mind should be very good on that day and that is why i'm making this video okay now you will get your omr sheet it will be something like this 
something like this right you have to fill your you know the roll number the test booklet number the code will be given there right right so everything will be there it will be like this it will be like this you have to fill it carefully obviously you have to fill your roll number then you have to bubble it bubble very nicely from outside to inside right that will be the best way for you right so here also you have to put your left thumb impression obviously in the examination hall your invigilator will ask you mother's name father's name your signature and everything will be done there okay now this is about your omr sheet so in the starting itself you have to fill these basic details so please reach there on time so that you can finish it on time okay students okay now when it comes to the omr filling again you guys can see right this is inappropriate you cannot mark right like two options right not even then that roll number thing please avoid it please avoid it if you have made any mistake talk to your invigilator they will help you out okay then bache this is the right way this is not the right way even this is not the this is not the right way even this is not the right way even this is not the right way this is not the right way right so this is the appropriate way just keep it in your mind now after filling it after proper bubbling now you got your question paper you got your question paper okay now what should be the sequence dekho definitely every time when you go for the board exams also we say that you should read the question paper completely here i will suggest you one thing whatever is your favorite subject which which one right whatever it is it can be physics chemistry and biology wherever you are confident you should start with that part right you should start with that part initially if you are thinking that i want to check my entire paper no need to do that no need to do that just keep one thing in your mind bachche that you have 3 hours you have 3 hours you have to give 20 hours for the sorry 20 minutes for the for the checking right so accordingly you have to divide your time right so you can keep 50 minutes for biology or along with omr sheet near about 60 minutes for your obviously for your chemistry and then 65 minutes for your physics along with the omr sheet filling this is what you need to do right so you are not allowed to spend more than 10 to 20 second over any question right you have to be you have to be remember this thing students you have to be dna polymerase 3 fast plus accurate right fast plus accurate right it doesn't matter that you will solve the paper in 30 minutes no it is not going to help you if you will mark the answers incorrectly so you have to be fast and accurate so let's say if i talk about the sequence let's say this is my advice go for the biology chemistry and physics why because biology is a theoretical portion okay in the biology we have the botany section we have the zoology section it is the theoretical uh, portion you will see the question you know the answer you will see the question you know the answer you will see the question you know the answer right so do not mark directly on the omr sheet you have your question paper you got your questions right so mark the answer on the omr sheet on the question paper itself sometimes in some sentence in vigilator they don't allow it right they do not allow it so you can just put a dot okay right whatever is the answer you can just put a dot this is the one thing that you need to take care now students whenever you answer any question even in physics even in chemistry even in biology right you have you should highlight the keywords jaise in biology statement based questions are there they ask correct are correct and correct correct and correct so you should highlight that thing that okay they are asking me the correct option theek hai so when you will highlight it whenever you will mark your answer this thing will be in your mind ki correct answer correct answer not the incorrect one right not the incorrect one so this is the most common mistake that you make so please highlight that keyword if your invigilator will not allow it keep it in your mind that okay fine i need to mark the incorrect option incorrect i need to figure out the incorrect statement and that will be my correct answer this is what you need to remind yourself theek hai theek hai so this is what you have to do so now i am talking about the sequence ideally this is the best way go for the biology then chemistry then physics okay but yes bachche even we have observed this thing that students right sometimes when they start with the biology because sometimes lengthy questions are also there they just give their one are your one or 10 minutes to the biology only then they get less time in chemistry and physics and their speed decreases so i will suggest you one thing right start with the biology part start with what is zoology whatever you want to start you know that you have section a section b section a means 30 questions section b means 15 questions sorry section a means 35 questions right right and section b means 50 question 15 question and you have to attempt any 10 so if 
right so i will suggest you in section a you have to you know answer all the questions so obviously read it read it read it read it right and if you know the answer mark it mark it on the question paper itself right i'll tell you when to fill the omr sheet now in section b you know that you have to attempt only 10 questions so let's say in section b you have question number 1 you have question number 2 one is quite lengthy okay it's a statement based question so many statements are there leave this question move to the next question why because you have the option here maybe if you will leave the statement based question other questions are you know comparatively short and you know the answer and there will be no need to read that question even because ultimately you have to attempt the 10 questions so when you fill the omr sheet your first 10 answers will be selected even you have attempted the 11th question the 12th question even if the answer is correct they will not consider it they will consider first 10 so no need to over attempt no need to over attempt this is what you need to learn okay no need to over attempt this is a one thing now when it comes to the omr filling do not just sit there and start filling the omr no no attempt 20 questions first if you are sure that yes you know the answer of that 20 questions so in sets you can divide the omr filling right don't keep it don't do uh, start uh, the the omr filling right just uh, reading the one question right don't keep it for the end okay so after 20 questions start filling the omr sheet right so i have made a separate video how to fill it but here also i will tell you right you know the bubbling thing so while answering the question make sure that you check the question number sometimes you miss that question number right let's say you have started with the botany section so you should be clear that in OMR sheet, this is physics, this is chemistry, this is botany and this is zoology, right? It, it doesn't mean if you have started with the botany, you can start from this part. Do check the question number. Sometimes we skip, skip the question and we move to the next question. So whatever question you people are skipping, okay, make sure that you are not marking it here. These are the common mistakes that you make. Let's say if you have made any mistake, let's say you marked incorrect question, then just leave your pen there, then take a deep breath. Keep yourself calm because if you will get anxious, you will make mistake in the next questions as well. So this is what you have to do. Please take care of it. Right, students? Please take care of it. This is the thing that you need to take care of. Okay. Now, now it has been observed that when you start with the biology for chemistry and physics, your speed also decreases. So what you have to do? One thing that you need to keep in your mind is that you are not allowed to spend more than 20 seconds to any question right so done if you are done with the botany and after that your physics and chemistry right let's say you you think that your physics is strong go to the physics part yes yes go to the physics part right if you are able to solve the question there quickly solve the 45 questions there or i will say quickly solve the section a there right you will not get bored because it is theoretical it is here you have to do the calculation that will be balanced that will be balanced only if you are confident with the physics or chemistry right just say let's say after botany you want to start the chemistry you can after chemistry you want to start the physics you can you want to finish the biology first then you want to move for chemistry and physics it is purely up to you ideally i'll suggest biology chemistry and physics after completing botany part you can either physics or chemistry you can switch it uh, to any of the section you should check the question number properly and again while filling the omr sheet make sure that you are marking the answers correctly so read that question answer it calculate it then move to the zoology part again then come back to this so in this way right even your speed will be maintained you will cover your theoretical portion also and you will cover your calculative part also right but you will not be burdened when let's say and let's say you are not able to solve any question leave that question move to the next part you are thinking no this time i'm not able to answer biology move to the chemistry move to the physics but you are not allowed to stuck whenever you have that emotion that oh my god oh my god i'm losing my calm i'm losing my control then start counting in a uh, reverse order 10 9 8 7 6 5 it will keep you calm trust me on that it will keep you calm okay so please take care of these things because these things can avoid your silly marking you need to be fast and accurate that doesn't mean you will not read the question carefully so focus on the things Wh what are they asking correct incorrect are they asking true or fal false statement what are they uh, in the biology make sure that you don't miss dorsal ventral point because sometimes they keep the statement same just they just change one word micro macro like this like this pick up these words right sometimes we read a question we think it's a pyq but maybe they will change the options so read the read all the option then mark your answer and when you are confident enough fill the omr sheet again i'm repeating do not keep it for the end right because you can make blunders there so this is these are the advices these are the tips from my side if you will save your time right if you will save your time then again check the paper that maybe 
you have you know missed some question or something this is what you need to check and before handing over that uh, you know omr sheet and question paper to uh, omr sheet to your invigilator make sure that you check your roll number again your name again you should check all your details first right bache so this is what i want to suggest you keep yourself calm take care of your health now no need to think about anything right whatever happen happen and what is to happen happen for good right so i want one thing from your side that yes ma'am i am going to give my best on 5th of may this is what we have to manifest so all the best take care i'm always there for you so see you soon guys so take care may you get what you deserve thank you so much everyone